If you're a student like me, you're probably approaching or you're already in the middle of final season, meaning that it's likely a very stressful and busy time. And so in this video, I thought I would bring you along to show you some of the different ways that I've been trying to deal with stress and take care of myself despite my heavy workload with schoolwork. So yeah, I hope that this can give you some inspiration on how you can kind of slow down a little bit and take the rest that you need to be more productive and let's get right into it. where I'll be doing my skincare routine um, as I do every morning in like all of my videos but I wanted to show you guys what that looks like because I actually have a new a few new products that I've been trying out and so I've kind of like updated my skincare routine a little bit and some of you guys were asking for what that is so there you go also I feel like when I'm stressed obviously like the first thing that happens is I like, break out so I'm trying to at least Maintain a consistent skincare routine can help prevent that uh, as much as possible. All right, first step, cleanser. I've been using the same one for like forever, but it's the CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser. And I just find that it's like simple. It doesn't irritate my skin and it's never like made me break out or anything. So yeah, this is what I use. Maybe while I'm doing this, I can kind of give you guys a bit of a life update and tell you about what's been kind of stressing me out and what's been going on in my life. So yeah, it's just been a weird semester where I feel like I'm doing work, I'm handing stuff in, but I'm not that like involved or interested because it's not like new material to me. Um, but I guess it's like, the fourth and final semester, so it's just about like putting what you learned into practice, but still it's just not like as exciting for me. Next, I'm gonna use this all-in-one hydrating milk from Burst. I don't use this every day, um, but I tend to use it like most of the times in the evening when I'm too lazy to wash my face again and I just wanna like wipe it and feel clean. But yeah, I feel like one way that I've been kind of trying to make school more interesting for me lately is just by trying to get involved in like as many things as possible. Um, so like a lot of times, in the week i'll stay after school to talk to a teacher or to get involved in like a certain out of school activity or whatever um and obviously that's been keeping me busy but it's also something i really like because i feel like i'm getting the most out of my education that way um but now <laughs> like especially this last week i feel like i've been at school a lot but i feel like i haven't actually gotten anything done that's partly because like two of my classes were canceled and I live far from school, so I can't just like go back home to, you know, just chill and do work and then come back to school because it's too long of a commute. And I hate when I have like a plan and that plan changes. So obviously that just has been making me feel like a bit overwhelmed, a bit all over the place. I feel like very much of a mess because I can't actually plan anything. Next, I'm gonna use the Ordinary's Caffeine Solution and I just use this uh, around my eyes and I don't use a lot because it's really sticky but it's supposed to help like reduce under eye bags which especially during final season <laughs> is very helpful I'm also using the niacinamide serum from The Ordinary and I really like this a lot I think this is probably one of my favorite steps in my skincare routine because I feel like it's the most effective and I've just noticed like a lot of changes ever since I started using this um, where I break out less, or if I'm already breaking out, it'll help. So yeah, that's everything that's been going on with me, but at least, you know, I try to remind myself, like, the semester is almost over. Um, I can only try to make the best out of what's left and just do my best with every assignment, and then we'll see what happens. <laughs> and then for moisturizers, I've been trying out this one from Youth to the People. And then last but not least, we've got sunscreen. I use a sunscreen stick, again, because I'm a bit lazy and this is easy to use. Um, even though it's like a really rainy day outside today and there isn't much sun, I still gotta put this on. <laughs> All right, and yeah, that's pretty much it for my skincare routine. I know I'm gonna have 
some food and make some matcha because I really, really need that. And <laughs> then we'll get on with my day. As you guys know, if you've been keeping up with my videos for some time, one thing I always do to start my day is to make matcha. I'm actually obsessed with it. It's a whole ritual that I really enjoy and that's like a great way to start my day and kind of take some time for myself and just focus on this one task. And the matcha that I've been drinking lately is from matcha.com who kindly partnered with me on this video. Apart from really liking its taste and its vibrant green color, one reason why I like matcha so much is because it doesn't make me crash unlike the caffeine in coffee which can make me really jittery and anxious. And of course that's not something <laughs> I want during finals when I'm already so stressed. So yeah, if you're interested in trying it out, make sure to head over to matcha.com via the link in my description and you can use my code Clarice for 20% off. Kind of already mentioned on my channel before that i really like to journal to have a more productive routine and kind of just go about my day with more intention and clarity i actually have a whole video about how i journal but i think especially during more stressful and busy times this is a really helpful tool because I tend to just dump down onto paper everything that's on my mind and everything that's kind of worrying me and it helps me gain a lot of perspective Usually when I'm really busy is when I kind of let go of these habits because I think I don't really have the time for them but it's kind of crazy how effective just 15 minutes of journaling can be and how much better you'll feel after so personally this just helped me focus on my tasks a lot more because I felt like I had kind of checked in with myself and knew what I had to do so yeah, I highly recommend journaling even just for like 10 minutes as a study break if you're feeling overwhelmed with your workload at the moment. I have just been journaling for a little while while drinking my matcha and to be honest, I have not journaled in a while, but it really does make you feel better. <laughs> it's time consuming and it hurts your hand when your hand gets cramped, but putting everything onto paper like everything I worry about and everything I've got going on up here really helps and I really feel a lot better so try it out if you're feeling overwhelmed because <laughs> it might actually help okay anyway I'm gonna do a little bit of work now because I mean I'm gonna have to at some point <laughs> I'm taking a little bit of a break from schoolwork. I'm gonna do this eye mask and while that's on, I'm also gonna tidy my room so that way it's nice and clean for the week. I definitely cannot function well <laughs> in a messy environment. Like it just bothers me so much. And so I'm gonna make sure that everything is in its place. I'm gonna vacuum and I think that's gonna make me feel a lot better. And like, I just know this week I'm going to be really overwhelmed already probably with school so I don't want to have to come back to my room and have it be like a total mess it's just so nice when you can come back home and your bed is made everything just smells fresh and clean and you just don't have to worry about that so even though I don't really feel like cleaning right now we're gonna get it done it's also my first time doing an eye mask so I'm excited for that
Everybody already knows that having a clean space is going to help you feel a lot more focused, but I think this is also really helpful when you've been studying for a long time and you want to take a break, but you still want to be productive. So I really recommend this if you are kind of in a slump or you're working on a task, but you kind of can't really progress more because you've been working on it for too long. So this is good because it kind of gets you up and moving, but also at the same time, you're doing something that's productive. And again, I kind of try to make it as fun as possible. I light some candles to set the mood. I'll do a face mask at the same time and listen to some music just so that I can like motivate myself to actually clean because otherwise it's a pretty dull and boring task. And again, your future self is really gonna thank you for just putting in even 15 minutes of tidying because it can really make a difference on like your mental state and just how you feel throughout the week. You're so rich, Aunt, with your glasses. You're so rich, Ma. Oh, 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 oh. 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 Good job. No. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Okay, take over. Hi, guys. I'm going to your mom's funeral. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Just I'm really what we're doing. Oh, we're going to a coffee shop and we're going to order coffee and Clarice has been really bothering me because she hasn't eaten yet today and so she's like she's been nagging me she's been biting my shoulder she's like crying in my car yeah okay we're here we're here wait hold on I have to opening the door So this was actually filmed on Tuesday, which was a really busy day for me. I had seven hours of classes with a short break in between on top of two meetings and it just felt like I had so much going on that I barely had the time to have a break to eat. So in between classes, I hung out with my friend Talia and we went to this coffee shop just to get some food and some energy, but also to work and kind of have a change in scenery. This was just like an opportunity for me to be productive, but also get to hang out with a friend and obviously laugh a lot, which is a great stress reliever. So I highly recommend seeing if you have a friend available to study with you. And if not, you can always like check out a new coffee shop or a new library on your own. And just the change in scenery will make studying a little bit more exciting at a time when that's pretty much all you're doing all day. Last but not least, I thought I would combine two kind of activities or tips, which are to get outside and get some fresh air, as well as to spend some time away from your phone. And I think this is especially good when you need a study break. So obviously as the days are getting longer, warmer and sunnier, it's great to get outside and get some fresh air just because it'll probably make you feel a lot more energized and help you gain some clarity for when you go back to work. And then also spending some time away from your phone is obviously going to avoid like going down the rabbit hole of just getting sucked into social media and starting to waste a lot of time on it. And not only that, but it also allows you to spend time doing whatever you want to do and doing something you enjoy, which for example, for me, I picked reading. It's a hobby I really like, but I don't have much time to actually prioritize it when I'm busy with schoolwork. But it's actually a hobby that like forces me to slow down and really take my time while reading. It's not really something I can rush. It can be really hard to slow down, I'm not gonna lie, at like busy times like these. But it's super important because then you're gonna go back to work and you'll have some perspective and you'll probably feel actually a lot more energized and ready to be productive than if you were to just push yourself and try to get everything done in one sitting. 
So yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this video and that it gave you some inspiration. Again, if you are going through finals right now, best of luck, you've got this. It's probably going to be a very busy and hectic week or two for me as well, but then again, the semester is almost coming to an end, so just remember to take care of yourself and not to burn yourself out. And on that note, I hope that you have a lovely rest of your week, wherever you are, and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!